Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your March 2021 reading. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs for your March 2021 monthly forecast. Thank you guys so, so much for all the love and support. For being here, make sure that you hit the thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see what is going on for you guys for the month. Normally, I include your love life reading towards the end of this reading, but I'm going to separate them to bring more readings to you because not everybody wants love life. Not everyone wants general readings, so we'll see what comes up for you here. Your love reading will be recorded separately and uploaded a few days later, okay? So just give me some time working on some things. Thank you guys. Once again, remember this is a general reading and not all messages resonate with everyone. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay, we have the action card. The thinking woman and all tied up. Some of you may be tied up to a situation you'd love to take action. And I feel that you may be working with someone. I'm hearing like an attorney, uh, a mediator. Uh, there is a third party here. And I don't mean it in a way of, you know, third party situations, um, love triangle. I don't feel it that way. I feel that there's a third party who's helping you sort out the details of whatever, you know, troubles you may find yourself in emotionally, financially, spiritually, mentally. Uh, it's definitely bringing about an action plan. Someone here may also be uh, meeting with an editor over. I just saw the book in her hand. And so you may have an idea for a story. You're meeting with an editor, somebody to look over your writings. Uh, others of you may be coming across old uh written material projects that you've had in the past that never came to fruition because you felt you were tied to a specific connection or situation. So those of you that have had other business partnerships is what I'm hearing. You had an idea when you had that business partnership, but you didn't really, it didn't really come to fruition. Now that you have severed those ties or you're feeling like it's time to sever those ties, you're really trying to figure out a way to bring about those plans into action to be able to bring about some sort of abundance for you. There is a need for you to really see things for what they are because there are some of you who may be already kind of stuck in your head about how things will end up working out for you. You may be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, female, or someone who is very, very sharp uh, with their mind, contracts, uh, being able to uh, help you take your idea and transform it into you know, real life plans, real life book, real life project, uh, business plan. This can also be, uh, I'm hearing, trying to find a way to finance uh, some projects that never came to fruition. And that's the Aquarius card. So definitely dealing with an air sign or you may have air in your chart, Scorpio. I also feel that this person brings in some sort of uh, hope and healing into a situation that allows you to come into fruition. Now, again, I keep hearing the book situation. It's going to bring in a lot of money, a lot of details uh, that you have not seen before. Um, that star card is about being a star fame and fortune but for whatever reason some of you might be afraid to be out in the limelight um i'm hearing that some of you are just kind of tied to a specific situation you may need permission from somebody else to use that information okay those of you dealing with that so you, there is a sense of, you know, trying to figure out the best foot forward. You do have help here, whether you've reached out to, you know, seek help and support to help, you know, the hangman and the all tied up. There's definite ties to a specific thought process, thought mentality, uh, maybe not being able to see past whatever you feel you're tied and bound to, whether this is a business partner, a partner in love, uh, a specific outcome. I think that if you did sign a contract with someone and they're entitled to like a huge percentage of what you earn or make, uh, if you if you owe someone money, you feel like what good is it to push this idea forward when I have to pay, you know, all these other people back. 
when will I see any profit? When will I see anything about it? Yeah, so there is a specific situation that is causing you nightmares, is calling you sleepless, causing you sleepless nights. Um, but you have the chariot card. I think that things will be a little more clearer and uh, able to move forward. Again, I am seeing black and white here, taking action, moving forward. Look at that. The synchronicity is here for you, okay? So there will be progress here. The minute that you decide to take action, that it's time to move ahead, you know, you may have been seeing things in very, very black and white, uh, in a black and white scope where you're just not, sure that things will work out. I think that by bringing in someone into your team, they will help you cut through the crap, cut through the anxiety, whatever fears you may have. I think that it's important to bounce those ideas off of someone to help you. The minute that you decide it's time to move forward, it's time to bring this plan into fruition, uh, you know, Things start charging ahead. That all tied up card, though, I'm not liking it. There's double Aquarius right here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, air sign, Knight of Wands. An Aquarius it feels very prominent here. We have four major arcana. So this is, you know, life-changing scenarios that the minute that you decide to move forward here, you can and will. Wow. And the Wheel of Fortune. This is your destiny. This is absolutely your destiny to be able to give more, you know, I'm hearing to be able to give and receive more than you ever thought possible, right? I think that some of you want to be able to bring about this type of money to be able to help out friends, family, you know, um, and if it's not just actually giving them money, but the tools so that they can create their own financial abundance. I think that you have an idea of how to market that, how to create a program, oops, how to create a program, um, you know, a manual, a workbook. There is something in that sense that you've already thought of a way and you've tested it out and it's worked and now you're ready to market it. And to market it in a way that will bring about financial abundance. But I need to know what that all tied up situation is. You feel very tied to something that has you in the sense that what's the point? I can't get out of contractual agreements. The percentage they're taking from me is too much. It's one, one, one on my clock. So that is a clear sign that it's a worry. You have the hangman twice with all tied up. It's time to get to the bottom of these contracts that you may have signed in the past. Maybe you have current uh, contracts that need to be overlooked. You may need to seek counsel outside of your current partnership. Someone who can help you find the loophole here. Yeah. Uh, you definitely need the help, assistance of a, someone who can help you break down these contracts, find a loophole, you know, um, negotiate the best outcome, a win-win for both of you. I'm also feeling like some of you don't really want, it's like you want to be known for something, but it's like you, you're, you have some sort of self-doubt about whether or not you can handle this type of attention or fame. And when I said that, the Eight of Swords comes out and the Sun card, you're, you're seeing the negative side instead of the positive side, especially if you realize that this can bring about a whole new range of financial abundance, abundance in all areas of your life. It really does open up a whole new chapter for you. And it puts an end to the stress and brings about good news and new beginnings. However, you're still 
you're still contemplating. Do I, don't I? Is it worth it to take that risk, take the leap of faith? There's so many other programs out there. Why, why does the world need, you know, another me? Why does the world need another, you know, uh, book about this, another workshop about that, another, why does the world need another coach? Because you are you and you have something different or special that other people don't. And you have to see that within yourself, okay? The minute you group yourself with other life coaches, other financial advisors, other writers, other whatever, right? The minute you group yourself with that, you lose your identity, you lose your sense of self, and you can also lose your self-confidence and the courage to take that leap of faith, okay? So let's see. Yeah, look, spirit says trust. I'm guiding you. When are you going to take that leap of faith? It's there for you when you're ready. You already know the answers. They've come to you in spiritual nudges. They've come to you in dreams. It's time to kick fear in the butt. <laughs> and keep moving forward okay Scorpio so check out your love life reading I will link it here at the end once it is uploaded and recorded and uploaded I appreciate you guys so so much please be sure to like share comment and subscribe double tap that bell to get notified of when I upload and when I go live I appreciate you guys so so much have a wonderful rest of the month we'll see you guys soon take care bye